Well, Jack, welcome, uh, welcome to the club. Um, how big an opportunity is this for you, do you feel? Um, I feel it's a really big opportunity for me to actually showcase what I can do. And uh, it's a big opportunity for me to, fa like, to play some games because it feels like a while since I've uh, actually played. I was going to say, has that been quite a frustration for you? Because uh, having broken into the team at Leeds so young, has it been a, a frustrating last 12 months or so? Um, I wouldn't... Uh, I don't know if frustrations are the, the right word, but I think as a player, you always want to play. Um, but if them opportunities don't come for whatever reason, I think there's always opportunities to learn and develop yourself in other ways, not just in the games. But games are just where you can showcase what you actually can do. Did you take much persuading or once you'd spoken to Michael O'Neill, was that it? Was your heart set on a, on a low move to Stoke? Um, I think with the plan that Tottenham had in place, I think uh, they wanted me to come out and get some fir um, first team football. And uh, after speaking to Michael and speaking to his uh, team around him, and obviously Stoke is a big club, we all know that. And yeah, it was a no brainer, really. Michael's just said in his uh, press conference ahead of the Blackburn game that he feels you will have benefited from training with Tottenham over the last six months or so. Um, w would you agree with that? Yeah, I feel like I've come a long way in the past six months, even though I haven't been playing an awful lot. But when you're just in and around top-class, world-class players every single day, uh, absorbing stuff off them, you're just naturally going to become a better player. What sort of uh, player are Stoke fans going to see then? Um, I'm hoping they're going to see a winger who likes to create chances, pitch him with a few goals, and I like to play with a lot of freedom when I play. And, yeah, just enjoy playing football. And still only 20, so as I think you said right at the outset, still with something to prove as well. I feel like in, the, in football you've always got something to prove. I think there's always going to be critics and people who want to bring you up if you're a good game and drag you back down if you have a bad game. So I think every single game is an opportunity for me to go prove something. Is that, is that difficult for a young man to, to deal with, that the, the criticism or...? Or the building up, as you say? Um, I think it comes both ways. I feel like as a player, you know, if you've had a good game and people will praise you for having a good game. But when you have a bad game, I think as a player, you know, you've had a bad game and you're not always going to play fantastic every single week. It's just something you've got to deal with. I think it's the same in everything. But you take the highs with the highs and the lows with the lows. I gather you know a couple of the lads already in Tyrese Campbell and Joe Bursick, so there'll be no problem settling in. No, no, I spoke, I spoke to him this week about coming here and stuff like that, and they told me a bit about the club and what it's like, and obviously I play with them at England youth levels, and yeah, they seem to be enjoy coming here, and yeah, they'll hopefully make me feel very welcome. And you'll hope to hit the ground running, and you'll hope to be involved against Blackburn on Saturday, I'm sure. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I hope that I get some involvement on Saturday and I hope that I can show people what I'm about and sh show what sort of player I am.